Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up um, an iSCSI drive in uh, Windows 8. It's the same as for Server 2012 as well. Um, on my QNAP here, um, I've already set up an iSCSI target of 192.168.1.12. Uh, so you need to go to the Start menu and type in iSCSI. Uh, click Settings on the right and then open up Microsoft iSCSI. Press Yes to start in the service as well. Um, okay, so once it loads, we now need to type in the target. The target is just going to be the IP address. Um, of the iSCSI device um, and then you can just press quick connect and it's done it for you I haven't done any authentication for this um, tutorial but if you had CHAP you would need to go in and configure this here uh, so you can see it's connected we next need to go to the volumes and devices tab and auto configure that um, if not you can specifically add um, parts of that uh, once we've done that we need to go to computer um, on the start menu and right click on that and go to manage um, so once you're on manage you're going to need to go to um, disk management. So just give it a second to load. So we're going to go into disk management. Uh, you can see I've got quite a few disks here. Um, I've got four disks which uh, aren't initiated, I think. Um, but the one we created on the iSCSI was only a gigabit big. Um, so we're going to close that down and just check which disk that is. It's disk four. You can see there's a gig unallocated just one. So you're going to right click on that and initialize and I'm going to untick the other disks. Um, you might only have one here and I'm going to go for a master boot record. You're only going to need to use um, grid partition um, if you've got really large um, disks. So uh, once it's been online you need to select what type of volume you want to do. So I'm going to right click and then choose a simple volume, assign it a drive letter and the volume name and then we're going to uh, perform a quick format, no need to do a long one and finish. Um, it's also asking me if I want to format it, but I've just done that, so we can cancel that. And so if we bring up Windows Explorer, we're going to be able to see the disk is going to come in there when it's finished formatting. It's still formatting there, so if we just go to Computer, and it should pop up as eDrive is what I believe I, um, I said it as. And there we have our iSCSI volume eDrive. Uh, I hope that's been useful for you, and you can use it in Windows 8 and Server 2012. Thanks for watching.